Amen. So we, we talk about uh, the Israeli army and how moral is the Israeli army. And it is something that, uh, um, that um, there are... Uh, there are so many schools of war and schools, military schools that are saying this way of conducting war warfare um, in an um, in inner city uh, warfare uh, into inhabited places, this has never done before, nor not in the Vietnamese war in the 60s, Non, not in Afghanistan, uh, not in Iraq, Iraq, and never has ever been something similar. Imagine this, when uh, the alliance, the allies of uh, the uh, Americans and the, and the British and, uh, and Europe and uh, France and all of the allies that came together against Berlin, and against Hitler, imagine if somebody was saying, come up to there, there are, there are people that are not uh, militants, there are not soldiers, so stay away from Berlin because uh, it's inhabited. Nobody said that, but they said, destroy Hitler. And we are thankful for the destruction of Hitler and the SS and all of these evil army and uh, all of the ideology they carried through and uh, inspired others. So you see, uh, there were more victims, many, many, many thousands of victims in Berlin, but nobody is saying anything and there are no protests in no university anywhere. So when October the 7th, which was something that should wake us up all and say these things shouldn't happen and we shouldn't allow them to come into our country. Nobody, but nobody protested against Hamas. But everybody is protesting against Israel. Why? They don't, they don't even know why they're protesting. I will explain later. So, Take a stand for Israel and let this stand not wave here and there. The first world of war of Gaza, 2008 and 9. Second war of Gaza, 2012. Third world of Gaza, third war of Gaza, 2014. And, 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 I, and, I, and, I, and I remember 2018, right? There was another, uh, almost they started a war uh, but they, they again uh, came to agreement. They take hostages and then uh, th they make an agreement. So uh, they reorganize. As soon as they reorganize, rockets again. Who else would accept and tolerate this? You wouldn't, I wouldn't. So let us not be hypocrites and lining up with the rest of the world. Even ethically, Israel is doing the right thing. And they have the right to do so. And I will explain to you through the Bible, the word of God. So now there is the fourth Gaza war. And there is going to be another one and another one, except if they finish Hamas, the, remainer, the remainder of Hamas in the, the Rafa area. So... Uh, Let's go to the next one. Um, the slides are from the ministry of David Regan. David Regan, he's very good uh, at the eschatology. Uh, the Jews occupied uh, this gift of God, it says, three, five, almost 3,500 uh, 3, years ago and lived there for 1,500 years. And then they were forcibly moved by the Assyrians, the Babylonians. This was in the 4th century before Christ. 587, uh, if I remember well, uh, well was the Babylonian um, exile. And then uh, they had the Assyrians first. Uh, the, the Assyrians 
the northern kingdom, the Babylonians, uh, the southern kingdom. So uh, they were uprooted and then by the Romans, uh, there is uh, their final ejection uh, in 70 AD. And it was desolate since then. Let's go to the next one. Uh, there has never been a Palestinian state before. Never, never, ever. There was Philistines, but Palestinians never. I will refer to the word Palestina, which is Peleshith. I will explain that later. But it doesn't talk about an organized country except this tribe that the Lord uh, took out so that Israel would, uh, uh, would receive the land of Canaan. How many of you know that the land of Canaan was given by God to Abraham? Do you, do you believe it? Do you know that in order for that to happen, seven different tribes... Hittites, Girgashites, and all of these ites were cast out. And, uh, uh, and we wonder, why did that happen? You know why that happened? That was the judgments of the Lord on the nations that they were worshipping idols. And they were like Sodom and Gomorrah. That's why the Lord said, said, I will cleanse the land and I will give it to my man, the man that I have a covenant with him, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Israel. So there has never been a Palestinian state, never, ever, uh, where we see it. Okay, so, uh, and, the, and today's Palestinians are not Palestinians don't call them that. You may say, but the uh, Israeli government calls them. They have to because the rest of the world, that's how they call them. So they call them like that. But they, they know clearly they are just Arabs, not Palestinians. Because there are no Palestinians about uh, seven centuries before Christ. There were none of them. So... Today, they just claim the land using the name, but they are Egyptians, Jordanians, Syrians, and Arabs, generally speaking, but no Palestinian in Palestine. And Palestine was not named because it was Palestinian. It was because some weird men like uh, the emperor of Rome, uh, uh, Adrian, Hadrian, Adrian, uh, in 135 AD, and um, I think it was Herodotus, five centuries before Christ, uh, for the first time he called uh, the name Syria Palestina, uh, and, and then Adrian, and uh, he did that to take revenge against the Jews. Uh, because they revolted against him because they wanted their land back. So uh, that was a terrible situation. You see, we are, we are having in front of us uh, what is called the Jewish Palestine. Let's go to the next one. Uh, the Balfour Declaration. Balfour Declaration, November 2, 1917. And it was then when this Balfour Declaration, after the defeat of the, uh, of the Ottoman Empire, uh, they were, uh, the, the land was freed and the League of Nations gave uh, the area to be supervised by, um, by the British. And so Allen B., uh, had um, victory and he entered into Jerusalem this, um, uh, this British um, uh, military top person, the chief commander. And it is said that when he entered, I think it was through the east gate that uh, Ezekiel 44 says it's the gate where the Messiah will enter. And uh, if you go to Israel today, 
they, uh, the Arabs covered it with stone. And so this whole gate that was a gate into Jerusalem, it's the only gate that it's filled with stones so that the Messiah cannot come and cannot enter. So they think. And then to make sure the Messiah doesn't dare go through this gate, they put a cemetery uh, right in front of the gate because the Jewish believe uh, the law, according to the law, that if you, uh, if you are participating in a funeral or been with a dead person, you are polluted and you are not to enter uh, uh, the house of God and so on and so forth. So, but how many of you know that our God is cleverer than all these wiles of the devil and these cunning devices of the enemy, the spirit of Satan? So, our king is coming and nothing stops him. Not stones, neither cemeteries, nor any other cunning devices of the enemy. So, there was a declaration, let's go to the next one, by the British Mandate. It was called the British Mandate. All this area, the Mandate for Palestine. Now, uh, this, again, we have, uh, I said Herodotus, right? Uh, five centuries before Christ, first mention. Second mention by Roman um, uh, Chief Commander uh, Had Adrian, Adrian. Uh, because he hated the Jews because they revolted against him because they wanted back Judea and Samaria. So uh, the British government, uh, the British government uh, came uh, again to give the name Palestine to mock the Jews again. So they gave the name Palestine. It's the British that have done it. But uh, we thank the Lord that <laughs> we are redeemed by the blood of Christ. And for what Cyprus has done and British, now we stand British and Cypriots together and they say, we bless Israel in the name of the Lord. The curse is not upon us. Amen. But anyway, that was to mock the Jewish people. But then again, Allen B., uh, 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 some believe that he was a believer. He got off his horse and he entered the gate uh, walking and carrying uh, and uh, leading his horse but on foot because when they asked him why didn't you which is a symbol of power and authority enter the eastern gate why didn't you enter on your horse as the chief commander of the British army who won the victory against the Ottoman Empire. He said, because the only person that will come again, the next person will come, it will be the Messiah of Israel. Many don't know this, but this is a detail that we need to know that this man had respect to the Messiah. I pray he was a believer, but anyway, Something good about the British, right? You say something very good. And if you know, uh, if you don't know, there is a Beverly, Marion, there are uh, uh, Nicholas Slade and some others. So praise the Lord for the British, the Serbians, the Greeks. The, uh, amen. We are one family in Christ. So listen to this. Now, there was a promise by the British government to give the land back to the Jewish people. And the Jewish people all over the world, they were celebrating that they were given by the British government, uh, they were going to give them this area, the mandate for Palestine, British mandate, they call it, call it Palestine, and Whoever was a citizen of that area was called Palestinian. And the first Palestinians, according to the English name they gave, the British name, according to them, the, the, first, the first citizens were Jews. And 
were calling themselves Palestinians because that was the Palestinian mandate as the British called it. If they call it, you have to call it that way. Okay? So if you go to Mars, you cannot say, I went to George. You have to say Mars and say Venus. It's uh, idols of this world and goddesses of this world, mythology. But you have to name the names like that. So they were given a name they didn't want. But that didn't mean Palestinians, Arabs. There were Arabs. There was uh, Mark Twain characterized the place as uh, a, a barren land that even cactuses or, or even bushes wouldn't like to uh, live there. There was nothing. And the Jewish came to the land and they bought the land. They bought, they didn't take away, they didn't just uh, lord it over some Arabs, uh, poor Arabs that were there. No, they sold it. Even the Arabs were wondering, why do they buy the land from us, pieces of land? Because they started planting and planting and planting. Uh, in, in the 20th century alone, Israel has planted hundreds of millions of trees. Before that, it was a barren land. Now the Lord turned the desert into a place that is, there is so much blessing on Israeli vegetables, agriculture, water, inventions, and uh, technology. How come 75% of all these inventions and medical uh, devices that they invent are Jewish? How come is that? And there was, an, uh, there, there was a man of God that challenged his people, uh, Muslims, and he said, uh, tell me one invention, just one, except killing people. You see, uh, we have to realize the blessing of the Lord is on the Jewish people. And those who support Hamas, how about bringing them home with you? Would you like that? Just put them in your garage, but then they will demand uh, that they, uh, they deserve uh, the house and you go back to the garage and then they take you out of, from there too. So dear brothers and sisters, let us separate between the blessing of the Lord and the curse of God. I'm not playing with these things. They are serious and they are true. So they promised to give them back this whole area called Palestine. Next one, please. So everybody, all the Jews who are celebrating, then Winston Churchill, who was then uh, the uh, for, uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, he, without uh, conducting the rest of the government, he initiated to give two-thirds of the British mandate Palestine to Arabs. Two thirds. Can you see the, 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 uh, the dusty rose area the, 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 to the right, to the east? This part is the two thirds and it was given to the Arabs. So do you see, they say they need a Palestinian state. They already gave it to them. All this area, all this area, supposed to be Palestinian, Arabs. Jordan is 70%, 70% of Jordan is, uh, they identify as Palestinians, 70%. So you see, there is a Palestinian state, Jordan. They gave it to them. So see what happens, this whole area, Britain, Britain was supposed to give to the Jews. Now they give two thirds to the Arabs and these one third to the Jewish people. Uh, let's go, uh, okay. Um, they uh, created the League of Nations and uh, they called the place Transjordan. Transjordan means 
beyond the Jordan River. Have you heard about from the river to the sea? And the uh, uh, journalists go there and ask them, what is uh, the name of the river you're protesting about? What's the name? Uh, I don't know. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. From the river, the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. So where is Israel today? Here. So where, where Israel would go? They want to kill every Israeli and vanish them from the face of the earth. That's genocide. So they say from the river to the sea. Then uh, 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 when the journalist, um, uh, they insisted, which river? Tell me the river. Uh, the Nile? <laughs> okay, you don't know the river. Uh, how about the sea? From the river to the sea, which is the river? I don't know. The sea? Um, Atlantic Ocean? Pacific? They have no idea. Americans are very famous about lack of geography they don't know <laughs> you see the british they support the americans don't know geography <laughs> they, really really they don't i mean they, they themselves they say they don't know they they uh they are uh, they don't know what they are uh, saying about other countries it's uh, geography is not uh, their hobby but anyway so next slide please And the next one. Now, they took one third of this, and in 1937, there was uh, another new committee called the Peel, uh, Peel Commission. You know what's peeling? Peeling a pear? Peeling xafluviso? The Peel Commission offered 80% of the remainder to the Arabs. Of the, of the one third. They took all of this and now they, ga they gave it to the Arabs. Now they gave Israel this part and this part only. And this part is Tel Aviv and J Jerusalem area. Uh, the British said, we'll keep this peeling Arabs, Israelis, and then keeping the line in between them to uh, bring progress to the area. Let's go to the next one. Um, then uh, in 1947, the UN approved the creation of two states. Uh, so they insist on doing that. Next one, uh, we know about the Six-Day War. Uh, and um, then, listen to this uh, next one, 1967. Then in 2000, Ehud Barak, who was uh, one of the most liberal uh, prime ministers of Israel, Ehud Barak offered Yasser Arafat 94% of what the Arabs were requesting from that area that I showed you. 94%. So, peeling Israel, peeling Israel, pushing Israel from the river to the sea to throw them and vanish them. That's a curse. And this will never happen. No weapon from against, uh, no weapon formed against Israel shall ever prosper. It is said for Israel first, then for you, then for me. Amen? So, the next one, please. Uh, this is uh, then in uh, 2008, Ehud Olmert, another liberal prime minister, offered Mahmoud Abbas 98% of what they were requesting. Next one. And uh, this is an Israeli diplomat, Abba e Eben, who said the Palestinians have never missed an opportunity to miss an opportunity. Next one. Uh, okay, so you see that um, 
Clinton brought them to Camp David, um, the Israeli Prime Minister and Yasser Arafat, and uh, he said for 14 days, Yasser Arafat kept on saying no, 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 no. In Norway, in Oslo, in the agreements of Oslo, he, Arafat was saying uh, peace, peace, and he turned to the Arab journalists and said jihad, jihad, jihad. Now, this is what Hamas does. Hamas hides behind kids and children and they fight the enemy using them as human shields. Uh, there is so much going on on the internet that they called it instead of Hollywood, Pollywood, Palestinian Hollywood, Pollywood. Out of the many lies they, they do, uh, you know that they go and grab kids and they take them, that's on video even now in the Gaza war, and they hold them as human shields because they know Jewish people, Jewish soldiers are trained never to attack innocent people. Uh, but the Israelis are standing in front of their children and fighting the enemy that hides behind children. Uh, the next one, please. That's uh, Prime Minister Gen Benjamin Netanyahu. He says, if the Arabs would disarm, there would be peace in the Middle East. If, uh, in, the, in the Middle East, if Israel were to disarm, Israel would cease to exist. And he's based on a saying by Golda Meir. If you remember that lady uh, who was like the Margaret Thatcher, of uh, Britain, she was the equivalent for Israel. I mean, she was conservative and she was for Israel. And she said, if the Arabs lay down their weapons, there will be peace. But if Israel lay down their weapons, there will be no Israel. And that's the truth. Amen. They have the right to exist. Now let's go to the next one. And here we see the 12 tribes of Canaan that the Lord gave to Israel. You see that? Is that clear? Okay. See the different uh, uh, Asher on, uh, in the yellow, Naphtali, Dan on the north, Zebulun, Manasseh, uh, Ephraim, Ephraim or Ephraim, Dan, Benjamin, Reuben, Gad, you see Judah, uh, you see all of these area of the 12 tribes. Now, next slide, please. See what happened, what the Lord gave to Israel. See what happened. The red lines show that the part they took and cut it and peeled for the Arabs. And now they want the state to, uh, uh, to uh, within the... Red lines, uh, here is the state they want, Palestinian state here, here, and the West Bank as they called it, as they call it, uh, and this is bringing Israel to almost nothing. And, uh, and I think they want to slice Israel up to eight kilometers from the sea so that they will cut Israel in half and attack Israel. All of this. Anyway, let's go to the biblical chart, the next one. Next chart is, we see the, the, the tribes, Dan, Asher, Naphtali, Manasseh, Ephraim, Ephraim, Reuben, Judah, Benjamin, si Simeon, uh, Issachar, and Zebulon, and Gad. And this is the borders that God gave to Israel. Can you see? Um, uh, towards the Mediterranean Sea. Can you see the red lines down there? Okay. This is from the river. There is a river right here. Where it says Jerusalem right there. There is a river. Okay. 
and there is another river, Euphrates. And the Lord said, from the river Nile to the river Euphrates, I will give to your seed. Next one. This is what the Lord gave. And I saw this and I thought it was interesting. From the river to the sea, that's the flag you're going to see. Israel is getting back the land the Lord has given him, given Israel. Israel never stole any land from anybody. God gave it to them. And we Christians are supposed to support Israel all the way. Let's go to Exodus chapter 32, verse 13. Exodus 13, 20, uh, 13, 13. Exodus 32, 13. And Timothy to Avram, to Isaac, to Israel, to Zdulusu, remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, thy servants, to whom thou swearest by thine own self, and sayest unto them, I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven, and all this land that I have spoken of will I give unto your seed, and they shall inherit it for how long? Forever. Who said that? God said that. Who said he will take all other peoples out and give it to the, to the Israelis. God said that. Dear brothers and sisters, how are we going to blame God for curses coming on people because of their disobedience? Are we going to side with curse or a blessing? Choose blessing, choose life. God gave this land to Israel forever. Genesis 12, verse 7. Genesis 12, verse 7. And the Lord appeared unto Abram and said, Unto thy seed will I give this land. And to thy seed will I give this land. You might say, yeah, but Abraham uh, had, I, uh, had Isaac and then uh, Jacob, but he also had Ishmael through Hagar. Ishmael, so much before Ishmael. Are you sure about that? Because the Bible explains the Bible. Genesis 12, Genesis 15, verse 18 Genesis 15, verse 18. In the same day, the Lord made a covenant with Abram, Abram, saying, Unto thy seed I have given this land, shout it with me, from the river of Egypt to the great river, the river Euphrates. That's in Iraq, Syria. Israel is much larger than what it is today. Genesis 17, 8. And I will give unto thee, Genesis 17, 8, to thy seed after thee the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan, for, tell me these words, for an everlasting possession. And I will be their God. You come against Israel, you come against God. You bless Israel, you bless God. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 8. Behold, I have set the land before you 
go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Didn't say Ishmael, said Jacob. To give unto them and to their seed after them. So that's the word of God.